Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video every week. So today I'm going to be doing an updated nail room tour. So if you haven't seen the first nail room tour, I'll leave a link above and you can go ahead and watch that. But since then, that was probably like over a year ago, I made some little minor changes. So I'm just gonna take you through my nail room and show you some new things that I have gotten, some things I moved around, so on and so forth. Also, everything that is in this room in its entirety, you can find on my website, www.keishanails.com, underneath the nail tech shop. And I'll have a new section for updated nail room tour stuff. So everything in this video will be in that section. Let's get started right now. Today, I am filming, I'm vlogging for you today. I'm not working, it is Friday. However, I just came back from some time off. So I am jam packed this weekend and I have a lot of stuff to do. So I didn't have time this weekend. So I was like, let me just not be lazy, get my life together and come in. And I need to make products to use on myself. I need to make products to sell. I have to unbox some stuff. I have to clean this room up. Look at this room, look at this, look at this. This is, look at this, this. This is, it's a mess in here. I have to put on my new stacks. I have a lot of shit I need to do. I need to film two reels. I'm filming three videos. And I already made products. I have to do my nails, do my mother's nails, which is gonna be another video. It's just a lot going on. And did I mention it's five o'clock right now? And all I've done so far was do the products. So right now I'm about to clean this room up and I thought while I clean this room up and give it a nice little spring summer cleaning, I'm going to do an updated nail room tour. And then I will possibly, let me see how the weekend goes, throw in some things that happened this weekend. So this weekend I have 11 people in two days. I know, it's fun. So I'm packed from 8 a.m. I have 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, all in between, hands and feet, nail art, everybody. 11 people in two days, so I had no time to get, I have to get everything done today. I have absolutely no time to do anything. So stick around to the end of the video for that. But today, I just have a lot of prepping and cleaning and preparing. Oh, and I have to soak off my nails and redo that set as well. So on top of everything else I just said, I have to do my nails, because again, I have no time this weekend. So this is gonna be fun, day in the life of a nail tech. Okay, so in the midst of the unboxing everything, like I said, you know, I don't live here, so I had some packages, I'm going through some stuff, and then I noticed that someone sent me something. If you guys want to send me anything, I will leave a P.O. box. I just started a P.O. box, so I'm gonna leave my P.O. box in the description box below. If you want me to try any products, you want me, you wanna send something, you wanna gift me something, whatever, I love it all. So I will leave my P.O. box in the description box below. But let's see what's in this package. So let's take a look and see what's in here. So I did open it already a little bit just because I, I thought it was something from Amazon and I didn't even know that was everything in here. So I didn't open it, open it when I realized it was somebody sending me something. I said, let me just open this on camera. So we have, it just looks like it's a bunch of nail art stuff. So it's like, these are like little birdies, little flat back pieces. Now aren't, now I can put on to stuff. And, gotta love the stiletto nails. They're like little knives. Okay, so let's look at this. We have some stones. Yeah, guys don't even judge my nails if you just happen to see them i'm not even i didn't do them yet so just pause like don't judge my nails these are stones they look like they're like black like an off black kind of clear cutesy some stones this is pretty what is this what do you call this these are cute 
Oh, I like this. They're like little rocks. What is this? Wait, a couple fell out. So these are like little rocks. It's like bigger than caviar beads, but cute. So it's these and they are all different colors. So there's a blue, a black, this is the iridescent, this is like the regular silver and a nice pink color. They're pretty. And it's like, you see when there's a lot of them, they sparkle like glitter. So this is pretty. We have some more little butterflies. So they kind of come up a little. They're not super flat back. They do have like a little peak. I think if you want to put a butterfly on something, that will definitely come in handy. They have some more butterflies with some rhinestones on it. Cute. A lot of people love butterflies. Another one of these. Great. So now I have a lot and then I'll put them I want to just organize my rhinestones to learn it. So I got to put these into my nail art stuff. Cute. These are nice. These are dope because honestly, I need this. This I could use. A lot of ladies like butterflies. And I think I only had a couple colors. So this is every color. This is nice. Thank you. You see how pretty this is? You get several colors. And then this is trash. Lastly, it says dart nail nail crystal. I hear something shaking. I hope it didn't come out with vacuum shipping. Guys, I'd be trying so hard to be gentle with these. I want to rip this box open. Because I'm just impatient and rough. Oh gosh. So what is this? Oh, okay, nice. And then just a whole bunch of rhinestones. Cool. So these are all iridescent. These are all the silver. These are different colors. These have that like little bluish tint to them. And then these are regular, oh, these are just silver. These are iridescent silver. And then these are like the little colored ones. Cute and all one color. I love that it's organized because you know I'm crazy. And I need to put this all inside. I don't want to open this because it's going to be a hot mess. But this is so nice. So thank you so much for sending me this. Like again, if you guys want to send anything and have it revealed, I can't promise I'll be able to open every and anything online. I mean, in a video, but I will definitely try. I definitely appreciate this stuff. All this stuff, you know, I will use my girls love bling they love butterflies they love rhinestones so we're gonna have a lot of fun with all this stuff so thank you so much for mailing this to me okay so i finally got this room together so i just want to give you on a little updated nail room tour i didn't make many changes but i have altered some things in the room so again i'll leave a link in the description box below if you miss the nail room tour, the nail art tour. I'm not going to be going over all that stuff all over again. That was too much. I'm just going to show you the room and a couple little changes that I've made in the last year or so. So the first change I made was I ended up getting this nice new rice cooker. As you guys know, I use a rice cooker for my hot towels and every time I use this. So I moved the other one over to the other side of the room, which I'll show you in a minute and still have my sanitation area going on. I'm out of pouches right now. So I just have all my clean stuff here. And then this was labeled barbicide, but I have my barbicide, my disinfected container. I have all my towels that I use. I use the light ones, preferably in the hot towel machine. And then I use these when I finish. I have my exfoliation gloves, which I use now on my new basic pedicure. <laughs> and all of these little towels that I had. So I don't know if you remember that I had the little towels in the pouches. So it became more cost efficient to just like, I don't know, my mom does laundry and she's like, I'm gonna save these. So she saved so many of them. And now what I do is I wet them 
in the beginning of the day and then I'm able to use a hot towel with the other machine on every customer. So I just take two per person every day and then at the end of the service, they just get wiped down with a hot towel instead of it being cold. And now I just like reuse these and wash these instead of spending money on buying a new pack because they did become like a client favorite. So I'm not allowed to get rid of them. They love them. So I had to just find something else to do with them. And then below, my acetone, my acrylics, some spare towels, my paraffin, my gloves, my tub liners, more gloves, plastic wrap, the paraffin uh, mittens and foot booties. Then I have my big towels. I got these bins on Amazon. You know I love Amazon. Everything's from Amazon. So don't even ask me where I got anything from. Everything's on Amazon and everything is linked on my website. My liners that I use, I keep there. And then we have my pedicure chair, like normal. I don't know if this was in the last video. I don't remember. I don't know, but I have a little, my little pink side table, my coaster. This was supposed to hold more. And then I just keep some cards over here, my sign. I have all my swatches here for my colors. And then I always just, I started to just put my pedicure stuff here. Cause then people never realize what they book. So I like to just keep it here. So I'm like, what pedicure are we doing? They're like, oh. What is the difference? There you go, here you go, read it. So that's just what it is for the pedicures. And again, my polish rack that I have all my little baby bottles in. I am running out of space. This is my regular Young Nails polish. And to be really honest, this these are gonna have to go because I'm running very low on space. And I have about four people that like to do regular pedicures. Don't even talk to me about that, but yes, they exist. Yeah, I was telling him like, y'all better get on board or something because these are about to all go. I, I'm running, like I'm running out of space and I need some stuff. I'm gonna have to pull some stuff out or non-favorites. I'll start pulling before I get rid of everything, but it's gonna have to go. So yeah, and my clock and my nail art that's up here. I got a new coat rack for the behind the door. Love this because I needed something that they can hang their coats up. The other coat rack used to fall. If you get a cheapy one on Amazon, it falls. So this I like because it goes up. So when I open the door, it doesn't get in the way. And if somebody needs one, they need two, they need three, they need four, it is what it is. And again, you know where I got it. I'm not even gonna go there. So that was a cute little space saving thing. I moved my products from on my table so now I have my refreshments on the table. My teas, again, everything's on Amazon. And guys, if you haven't got on board with these tailors, the, what is this, like the fruit infused one? When I tell you my customers love these, every single one tastes amazing. If you offer drinks and you have coffee or tea or something, please go on my site and you get these because they love these. They love Biscoff cookies. I'm like, I feel like I'm not even allowed to open if I don't have Biscoff cookies. Like, I feel like if I didn't have these, they would stop coming. I don't even know. So they, I have to get these. Sometimes I get them double. These are the single ones. I always keep some, what is this, sugar, some cream. I'm kind of just doing regular cream because the pack that I have that was like multi-flavored, I felt like. I was ending up with only these four. Everybody went through French vanilla. Everybody went through regular. Everybody went through hazelnut. And then I'm left with the non-favorites. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop being nice and I'm just gonna stick with original. So these I'm trying to just get rid of and it's more cost efficient to just have original. You know, I can't spoil everybody. So I only carry original. And like I said, I'm just trying to finish these off. I have my cups, my lids. I like to keep it covered because dust is everywhere. My straws, stars. Coffee cups. I think I have these linked on my website as well. A little bit of super durable, perfect size for a coffee or for tea, disposable, cost efficient. I mean, it's a little splurge, but they're very cute and they're durable. They're pretty good. I really like these. And then I just have my hot water that I keep, my cold water. Um, I do have other snacks. Yeah, I like to feed people. I'm a food person, so I always go where the food is. So I'm I'm all about the snacks. So. What I like to do is, again, I always have my Biscoff and all that. Oh, also, you know, iced coffee, regular coffee that I always keep in stock. I'm really loving this. I think, I don't know if this is linked on my site. 
I think I might have the Starbucks one. The problem with the Starbucks one was, I'm not gonna lie, like I was drinking it all. Like I was having like three cups of coffee, it was so good. And I was like, I'm like a Starbucks like crackhead. So I had to stop for my own safety. And now I use the Nescafe, which is really, really good. This is really good, especially for this amount of water. It's really good. And then like my Crystal Light. So I always keep my Biscoff. And now I started getting other snacks, just some variety. So I just finished the Frito-Lay box. So I will leave this on my website. You get, this is what's remaining, but you get like 14 different variations of all the Frito, I mean Doritos. There was like Slim Jim, there's crackers, there's popcorn, the Funyuns, uh, that cheese mix thing. They do a whole compilation of Frito-Lay and it was like 14 bucks. And I love that it gave a variety. So now that this is what's left of that box, I like, I went back to healthy and got some Cape Cod kettle chips. So this is, I think this was like 10 bucks. And I got like maybe 15 packs and it's salt and vinegar, regular and barbecue. So this is what's in rotation right now. And then I have my fancy water, which I'm not gonna lie, this one is really, really good. You see, it says the best served in the best restaurants. When I bought this, I bought it six, six packs for 20 bucks. I thought that was good. So my friend came and she's like, oh, you have fa fancy water. So I'm like, oh, I thought, I didn't know if it was bougie or boule. So I was like, okay, so now I could be cocky about it because it's, fa it's fancy. But actually it's just a really good deal for the size bottle that it is and the quality of the water. Yes, water is just water. But at the end of the day, this is really, really good. And like I said, it's only 20 bucks and nothing's cheap. Water, 20, 26 packs, for, I mean, six, six packs for 20 bucks. I thought that was pretty good for this size. So I have all of that here with my TV. My TV got a little bit bigger. My mom got a new TV in the living room, so we just rotated all the TV. So this is an old TV, nothing's new, I'm sorry. I'm not doing a new TV, but it's a little bit bigger. So now it kind of like takes up the whole entire thing. Don't judge my playlist, guys, okay? I listen to everything, I'm for everybody. So I have my new pedicure that I have going, current stuff, I erased something, I gotta put something up here. Just let everybody know what's going on, if I'm gonna be out, if you need to book, along with anything new that's happening, I always put on this little board. Uh, I move my products over here. So I just have my, this looks dingy, sorry, but I have my products over here. I have my bags. I just read up, like I said, I had to make products. So now we got some pina colada flavors going on, some green tea, orange scrub, foot balm is a must. This is the, my best seller, so I always have to have that. And I have a couple bit left of my antifungal and nail growth. This stuff is amazing. Um, if you guys want a video one day, I think I did a video on products, but we can get more into it if you choose to. Beautiful oil. So, some more aprons. I have like four aprons. This is that Madame Glam box. I have to do something with it. Uh, polish, re-up polishes. These are all the polishes I have on the wall. When I buy more, I pull them out. Then I have my ring light for my filming. My best friend in the whole entire world this summer. She's amazing. She makes me nice and cool and I'm not a hot sweaty mess. This is the shit. I paid $60 every month for like five months. Amazon let me pay it off. So if you want an AC, portable one, cause it's up by my thing, portable AC, you can get it on Amazon. You have to search because not every single one will allow you to do payments. But I needed something last summer. I did not feel like spending $300 in one shot. So I paid $60 a month. By the time the summer was over, it was paid off. And I think it was like five months, five or six months. And I got it last April or May, I think May. And awesome, love it. It's super cold. It's enough of this space. I love it. My nail table. Nothing's really changed. Still have my lip free wipes. All my stuff going on here. I tried to like clean up a little bit, get rid of like some trash that I had. Guys, this is awesome. I bought this at, um, this is a brush holder. I don't want to take it out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't, I really don't feel like pulling it out, but you can kind of see it's long. It's this whole 
thing right here. I have this sitting on top of it. So there are more holes. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need some more space. Okay, so you can see from here. I got it at five below. So they market it as a makeup brush. But well, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I could use that to hold my, my nail art stuff. So then I don't have to keep swirling around and grab all the stuff that I need. And it just fits like into these little holes. You see there's different sizes. So you have a big one, you have a couple little small ones. It fits everything and it's really, really cool. Actually, I'm gonna move you down because I need more space. I need to fit more brushes in here. But I have that, my cuticle oil, everything on my nail table, everything over here. I have my drill and my acetone, my monomer, swipe. I always keep, this is the best uh, neutral pink color yet to date. So now this is, this doesn't go back up on the shelf. This stays out in white. <laughs> it's summertime, everybody loves white. White stays out on, on the thing. Sorry, don't mind my cup. And I have to do swatches for my, my Madame Glam colors. I didn't swatch these yet. I just keep my base, my top, my mat. This is my mat. So all my, my go-tos are just, they just stay right here because we just need that. I have my little charging station. I don't know why this is here. That should be plugged in. So I have a charging station for my customers. And I have, I think I have the other one preoccupied, but I have a, this for the Androids, and then I have one for the iPhone, so they can just charge while they're here, get their nails done, and yes, be considerate, bitches. So you want to be drinking here? Use a coaster, even though the table's messed up. It's just cute. And then what I did, I needed more space. So what I ended up doing was I moved my table over a little bit to push my lamp in so I could add this table. So this was my old uh, rice cooker. So now I use it for the little towels. So again, I just wet it, fold up two, and now they have a nice hot towel at the end of the nail service. And I keep that next to me, some garbage bags, table stuff, my paper towel, and I'm able to kind of camouflage this crap that I had here, which is just my hand filming stuff, all that stuff. Uh, my gels, I have a lot of gels. These are the re-up gels, these are the current gels, these are the bottle gels, my machines, mask, some other stuff is back there. This is like random stuff that I don't care to dig too low to get. My top coats and everything. I have my nail art stuff. I went over this in the last video, nothing much has changed. Now my top coats, my stuff. Let me show you guys. This is the new Macar Rhinestone Glue. This is, this is everything. Like if you're not using this, then I don't know what to tell you. You need to get on it. They changed it. It used to look like this. Oh my God, this is funny. You see, I'm so desperate. You know something's real, like for real. If you cut it open to scrape it out, shit is real. This is really good. I didn't, I'm like a fiend. I didn't even throw this out. I should. And I just got that all over my hand. So that is that, I should really toss it out. You see, I didn't even toss it, I just put it right back here. Like, we're not throwing you out yet. So I have my brushes, my other brushes and stuff. My Young Nails paint set, I've been through this. I can never keep these things clean. So up here, I have the rest of my acrylics. These are my go-tos, my clear, my cover pink. I use this on everybody. If you don't tell me you want a color, I'm just doing nails. I use this cover pink on everybody. I use their clear for everybody. These are running out slash. Okay, yeah, I have a couple of these. So I don't wanna put this out yet. These are running out. But you know, it's like you have that drop left and then I didn't have space to put them over here. So I have my main ones that are over here. So these are all the Valentino colors. They're out of place. I'm very anal. And if I would have thought about that, I would have turned these all so you see the V. But I'm not gonna get obsessive right now. So I like to actually see the name and the V because I'm OCD. And then I have all my glitters. So we got the Kiara Sky glitters, some Young Nail glitters, the Young Nail confetti ones. And of course, Lost Lady all day. So that is it for my 
room tour. This is basically where it all goes down. Okay, so that's it for the updated nail room tour. If you guys wanna see any other of my nail art tour videos, my other nail room tour, I will leave a link in the description box below for all those videos. Again, you can find everything from this video and the other videos on my website in the nail tech shop. If you guys wanna send me anything, I will also leave my new PO box address in the description box below. If you want me to open anything online, you want me to help advertise, I'm all for self-promotion, I'm all for black-owned businesses, women-owned businesses, it all. So I don't have a problem shouting you out on Instagram, on a video, please feel free. If you wanna send me anything, again, that address is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.